All right, guys, welcome back to the next episode on this Pokemon X series. So, in the last episode, we did catch our Magby, Magnemite, and also our Frostlass. Uh, Magnemite has the ability multi scale, which will be decent if we ever need to swap out to take a hit, basically. Um, battle armor, protection kit's not really that good. Um, okay, nature, not too bad. Um, hopefully we can jump in on a few normal attacks to stop certain trainers, but we never know yet. But, as I always do, this episode is a gym, so it'll be on its own unless we have to do other things first. Why not? Let's go. I don't think this is a gym, is it? It might be. I think it's a gym episode anyway. We'll find out in a sec. So, absolutely Magby. We kind of need to get our Magmite some levels up, so we'll do that in the next battle we do. Just put him as a front to gain some EXP. Torn. Bit of a weird thing to do when we're going to attack anyway. We need to get a burn off really, because Absol has quite high attack. I'm surprised at how tanky this uh, Magby is, you know. Obviously, it's a baby one, so you would assume it's quite weak. But it seems to be alright, pretty decent. It's not dying as easy as I thought, anyway. Right, so this is the gym leader we have to do. Okay, yeah, 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 sign. Yeah, so we can go in the gym. Um, so let's put Magnemite at the top, and then we will swap into Frostlass. Unless we see a Pokemon that obviously would be super effective against Frostlass. Right. Let's take this gym down. We've not done a gym yet, so it will be interesting to see what levels Pokemon are. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about this. forgot about this little, um, like, it's not an assault force, what am I thinking? Um, basically we have to knock all the bubbles off. But, I feel like we're going to miss quite a few of the trainers. Which is fine, we're not that, not really that fussed about doing that, unless she wants us to take down every trainer. Which I don't think she does. So... Let's see what level this Taylor is. I'm going to say about 11, 12. 7. Very underleveled, if I'm honest. So let's go to Frostlass here. We can use Powder Snow. It might... You know what? I'm not going to go straight to Gym Leader. We are just going to go and defeat the other two trainers as well. Or do we just do the gym leader and go and get more encounters? It might be the case that we go and do our... Go and get some more encounters. Unless we get stuck, basically. The tailor went down quite easily. Frostlass isn't overly powered. It hasn't got the greatest of movesets at the moment. Uh, Lilliput. So we can go to... Well, we can either go Frostlass... Or our Hooper. Because I assume it won't have bite yet. Let's go back to Frostlass. Like I said, we need the two Pokemon we caught in the last episode, which is Frostlass and Magnemite. We need to level them up. Because currently at the moment they're not that great. So the only move we can use is Powder Snow, which isn't gonna do a lot of damage at all. Oh, very clever. Okay, so we need to go to rings here. Obviously, it's Odor, Sloft, Frostlass, so it can hit us with a normal tackle or whatever. There you go. So let's use Hyperspace Hole. This should do quite a lot of damage. 
Hey, nice. Easy win. Sorry, my heart just sneezed. Um, that was quite an easy battle. I think the trainer level hasn't been up as normal. So we might have to do something about that in the future. Because obviously, a normal Nuzlocke would be quite... Oh, we'll leave it for a change because usually we do get beat quite near the end so at least we keep it as normal levels we might have a uh, an interesting run right mass um, yeah let's go to frost last we might be able to do some damage we just need to get EXP basically. I am very looking forward to what we get. Like in the past couple of series, i.e. the Scarlet and Violet one, we didn't get all legendary. And I don't think we got a good legendary Oh no, we didn't even get all legendary in black. Uh, black two? No. Yeah, I think we were doing black two, weren't we? Or Pokemon Black series. We never We never got our legendary, we never got there. Um I am gonna revisit the Pokemon like black and black 2 generation um, probably next time or the time after just because we want we need to win each, each generation at one point so we took the hour on that one I don't think we did when we got to the end but in that last run and we probably could have done more but I'd rather revisit it as it was way too long of a uh, gap between where we were and then completing the series, so we'll just leave it and we'll come back to it. We should be able to take this down with Magnemite now because it does have Slender Shot. So, Growl won't do anything to us. We are quad effective. Yeah, easy battle. Wish cash. This will need rings out for this. Just feel like the ground type might. Oh, is it what? Is it water or electric wish cash? What am I thinking of? Doesn't matter. We should be able to take this down easily anyway. Unless it has like bite or crunch. Then we might take a lot of damage. We didn't do that much to us. Oh yeah, we got leftovers, didn't we? No, we've actually had a really good start to this series. Obviously we've got our mythical from the start. On. And then also we got leftovers. Yeah, I thought it was water ground. Don't know why I thought it was electric. Um, sorry, I've just checked Prodex about Wishcash on its typing. Um, I think in the next one that we are gonna do, I think I might add that typings will be different. It'll make for a very interesting nuzlocke because we'll never know until we get hit by the move or um, ooh, vanillish. Should be okay, let's supersonic it. I don't think we'll be able to use supersonic now. Yeah. Alright, let's thunder shock it then. Try and get a a paralysis. Um I think what I did do was add two extra Pokemon for each like powerful trainer. <sighs> gonna have to go to ring. Nothing else can take this kind of damage. So each like gym leader will have two more Pokemon. And that's why we went to a ghost type. Harden. Okay. I think we're special anyway, so we should be okay. Oh, we're not. I can't believe we're not faster to be honest. 20 HP. Oh wow. We don't actually do that much damage.
Is it going to hit five times? Seven. Fourteen. No, it's not. That's exactly what we needed. Something to ease us into the final Pokemon. I think that's it. I think that's the gym leader defeated. Obviously, Rings will probably be our highest level Pokemon going forward for a while until we get the Unbound item, which I don't really know where to get in, in Pokemon X, but we'll figure that out later on down the road. But there we go. Our first badge of this series. And it was quite an easy one. No losses. Really good for us. We usually do lose Pokemon in the gym, so... Quite happy we had no losses there. Um, but once again, the TM ain't great. Like normal, we don't get any good TMs from gym leaders. But that is how it is. We're used to that by now. So... What's this guy going to say? Why don't you head on to the Pokemon lab? Alright, oh, yeah, that's fine. But anyway, guys, what I'm going to do is leave it here. Obviously, we just defeated the gym. Um, in the next one, we will look at moving on towards our second badge. And you will see what kind of disadvantage we get from having this book badge. So thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.